How you doing today? Kevin Black with Jones Technical Institute. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take apart a single piston compressor and check the crankshaft and the piston uh, to make sure they're in working condition and have um, no scores or marks on them. Now this is an air compressor for uh, the brakes or an air brake system. What this does is it um, compresses air and builds it up in the system allowing it to have enough pressure to stop the tractor trailer and apply the air brakes. So basically how it works is you have a governor that's hooked up to here and what it does is it pumps in or uh, tells it when to build up pressure or when to let go pressure. Uh, now this right here is an unloader valve. What it's going to do is when the governor tells it to stop creating pressure it's going to go ahead and open up and the air will evaporate allowing the um, piston to still move but without any compression. Now when the pressure gets too low it's going to close back up and what then is going to happen is it's going to allow the piston to create pressure to flow to your air brakes. What I'm going to do is going to go ahead and remove these four bolts here and this is going to allow me to show you uh, the piston on the inside. Okay, so I've went ahead and removed it. Uh, this is the unloader valve I was talking about, and this is a spring inside that's going to open and close when the governor tells it to, which what I explained a little bit earlier was when it's going to tell it to start creating pressure and when to stop. Now, that's the piston I was talking about. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off these four bolts. Uh, this holds the plate and under here you're going to see how the piston connects to the um, crankshaft. Okay, so I've removed that top and now you can see um, where the piston right here connects to the crankshaft. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two bolts off here and then I'm going to push the piston out and pull the crankshaft off after removing this plate. Okay, so I've taken off the connecting rod cap. What I'm going to do now is going to go ahead and push the piston out and pull the crankshaft off. So. There's your piston. Now I just got to remove these four bolts to get to the crankshaft. Okay, so I've removed this cap. What you're going to do now is just pull the crankshaft out. So I've removed the crankshaft and the piston. Now as you can see, the piston has the piston rings around it. So what we're going to do now is going to go ahead and inspect it to make sure there are no scores, scrapes, make sure everything look, looking good and working condition. And then we'll go ahead and assemble it back together. So if we go ahead and look at it, the, voices in my head are real. the piston looks pretty clean, pretty good. Metal doesn't look like it's scorn or torn. Don't see any marks or abrasions on it. Let's go ahead and check, make sure the top looks good. Everything looks good. Looks like a, almost brand new. Now we're going to check the crankshaft, do the same thing. Make sure there's no scores, abrasions, and that looks good as well. Now as you can tell, there's oil on it, which keeps it lubricated to keep it from seizing up. Typical in any compression and crankshaft.
going to do now is going to go ahead and, and put the crankshaft back in the compressor. And how you do that is you just slide it in and you make sure the gear is on the side that's going to go into the engine block and get rotated by the gear. So now what I have to do is go ahead and put the, comp the piston back in the compressor. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to need uh, a compressor to compress these rings to allow you to slide it inside. Not that way, but that way. Now I have this tool here. It's a, um, it's a small ring compressor. And like I said, it's going to go ahead and compress these rings to allow me to slide it into the compressor. Now this is going to be your top, or your bottom I should say. This is the top of the, compre uh, the piston. And you're going to want to get those rings inside these two clamps right here, which allows pressure to be applied to the rings to uh, hold them closer to the piston. So, what you need to do is insert your tool, press down on this release, and slowly rotate it. I'm going to go ahead and slide this on. We're going to want to make it lined up or kind of flush with the top. Kind of a little bit of the, the piston sticking out so it allows you to get a little push in to begin with. And then what we do is we go ahead and tighten it up. And we want to make sure when this tightens down we want to make sure it's keeping together and kind of flush so we don't, uh, when we slide it in, it doesn't pop out and come disassembled. All right, so it's, she's as tight as we're gonna get it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in place. And kind of. Just a tad bit out so we can get a little play to get it inside the compressor. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a light tap to push it down into it, and then that way it goes up and connects the crankshaft and uh, connect it back. And then and you can just give it a push with your fingers. And you want it to line up around the crankshaft because that allows it to rotate and push it up and down. So it's there. And go ahead and take that, push it into place. just a little bit. Put that in place. Set it down just a little bit. Alright, so we've successfully taken out the piston, checked it, successfully taken out the crankshaft, checked it, everything looks good, uh, don't see any scores or abrasions, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and just keep reassembling it, and that's how you take apart and check the piston and the crankshaft and a compressor.